50% fight scenes, 50% smooches. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're going to be counting down our picks for the top 10 action romance anime. For this list, we'll be looking at the series that offer a healthy dose of kick ass battles, along with a prominent romantic element that continues all throughout. As always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and maybe your waifu will love you or something. Number 10 Guilty Crown Taking on an international corporation in the name of Japanese independence is a rather tall order, so it makes sense that Shu would need something else to keep him going. You know, you have to at least try. You'll never be able to do anything if you're too afraid. The power of the king may be taxing, the horrors of the conflict may riddle his mind with doubt, but when all else fell apart, there was always the likes of Inori to keep him on his feet. The crystalline fight scenes are all well and good, but let's be honest, it's the doomed relationship between these two that kept us coming back for more. <laughs> Number 9, Yona of the Dawn. She's a princess determined to save her citizens. It's not her fault her bravery inspires so many handsome warriors to fall head over heels for her. <laughs> Following a coup d'etat that leads to the mid of her father and herself becoming a fugitive, Yona and her loyal bodyguard, Hack, set off into the world, led by the myth of the legendary dragon warriors, in the hope of recruiting them to help free her nation. With plenty of romanticized fights interwoven throughout, there's a whole lot to enjoy here, even as Yona keeps on making those hearts flutter thanks to her unyielding determination. <laughs> Number 8. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? The only thing that makes crawling through dungeons and slaying monsters bearable is the knowledge that at the end of the hard day of adventuring, you've got a short, voluptuous goddess waiting for you back home. <laughs> Too bad that's the one skill Belle refuses to upgrade. While the world building, arcs, and fantastical fights are all top notch, you can almost always expect the likes of the sweethearted Belle to find himself in the clutches of one or two thirsty goddesses. Boy, just marry Hestia already before we get the entire pantheon after your master sword. Number 7, Katana Gatari. Martial arts, legendary swords, crazy killers dressed as ducks, and at the center of it, an unlikely duo whose love for each other is just as bizarre as the brawls they get themselves involved in. Due to his overwhelming fighting prowess, the socially inept Shichika is recruited by the short yet sassy Togame in order to collect the infamous Deviant Blades. What follows is a series of spellbinding battles, complemented by the pair's unorthodox coupling, spiced up by both their adorable resolve in one another, along with some rather damning secrets. You won't find many like these two. Number 6, Sailor Moon. Let's be honest, for as much as this show was dedicated to the exploits of the Sailor Senshi and Usagi's role as the Moon Princess, one of the most prominent aspects revolved around the masquerade that was Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask's relationship. I am Tuxedo Mask. Sailor Moon, look into your heart and find the warrior within you. It is your destiny. But I don't want to be a warrior. Secret identities, the will they won't they trope, potential love triangles, brainwashing, a child from the 30th century. Seriously, this romance had everything. You've broken the spell, sailors. So long. <sighs> the show also had one of the first LGBT relationships in mainstream anime. Not that you'd ever know that if you watched the original dub. Maybe we need to get some help. We can't give in yet. We've got to stay strong, Michelle. Number 5, The Seven Deadly Sins. 
The battles between the seven misfit knights and the demonic Ten Commandments resulted in some of the most entertaining fantasy to come out of modern anime. Forgoing the latest season, of course. However, you can't forget that deep beneath all the magic and Eskinor's uber-manly mustache are a string of romances that permeate all throughout, not to mention have some heavy impact on the narrative. <laughs> You've got Meliodas and Elizabeth's grope-filled reincarnated 3,000-year relationship, Bun and his sole commitment to Elaine despite her numerous deaths, and of course King and Diane's adorable affections, complete with convenient memory loss. Jeez, they packed a lot in there. Number 4. Sword Art Online Ah, what relationship you might ask? Because when it comes to Kirito, none are better in the business of arousing the desires of fellow players and NPCs without slipping into harem territory. Somehow. In Alicization alone, there was enough high-def fight scenes to satisfy the most hardcore of anime action junkies. All the while, you've got Kirito remaining loyal and true to his beloved Asuna. <laughs> Even though he left a slew of honeys in Alfheim thirsty for him while also earning the affections of arguably new best girl on the block, Alice, in just one season. Number 3. Roroni Kenshin, Trust and Betrayal Turns out Kenshin's past as the Manslayer wasn't only filled with the broken and bloody bodies of his targets, but also a doomed romance that would leave him forever changed. As his reputation as an unparalleled assassin continues to grow, the once remorseless killer soon finds himself falling for the gentle Tomoe. And while their affection for one another may be earnest, if misshapen, it doesn't take long for the weight of Kenshin's past sins to corrupt their happy ending. Betrayal, regret, gore, and the origin of the burdened swordsman's iconic scar. What more could you ask for? Number 2. Inuyasha The half-dog demon may not have much luck when it comes to getting his wish of becoming a pure beast like his far more talented older brother, but at the very least, he dominates when it comes to having ladies in his life. I think I wanna touch him. His continued pursuit of the Shikan Jewel and seemingly endless battles against Naraku provided a whole slew of fantasy showdowns that are still remembered fondly today. Inuyasha, what do you think of me? Do I seem ordinary? Huh? Where are you going with this? Of course, in between all those wind scars, Inuyasha had plenty of time to try and cope with the love triangle between himself, his former lover, now kinda zombie Kikyo, as well as the high school girl of his dreams, Kagome. She's kissing him! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works Apologies to Saber and Sakura, but in terms of striking a balance between god-tier action sequences, along with a romance that still shines through amidst the lore encyclopedia that is the Fate franchise, Rin and her roots take the holy grail on this one. You've got servants and masters hacking each other to pieces via utterly gorgeous animation thanks to Ufo Table and their unlimited budget works. While Rin and Shiro's romance is dripping in so much Sundere goodness that you can't help but get invested. Bone of my sword, right? Ja, 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.